Hello and welcome, my name is Evan Budson and this is another Adobe Premiere CS5 quick tip. We're going to have a look at a new feature in CS5 today uh, called facial detection. And this is one of those uh, features um, where I don't think a lot of people didn't even know this was possible, let alone that they wanted it. But it's one of those things where I think it's a testament to, um, to the people at Adobe where they've identified technology or they've identified things that they can do to make an editor's life easy. Now I know as an editor myself, when I uh, a lot of the time I'll receive a whole bunch of camera tapes from um, from a shoot, but I don't really know what are on the tapes. Um, I get a very rough EDL of what the edit's supposed to be, but I don't know what's on the footage, so I either have to scrub through it all just to get a general uh, gist of everything. Um, and I know for a lot of the work I do, um, one of the mantras of the kind of sort of corporate policy is lots of smiley happy workers, lots of faces of people happy. Going through that footage and identifying where the interviews are and where the, the, B, the B roll is and where the cutaways for the interviews are and so on, you know, can take time. Where facial recognition kicks in is the ability to have a whole bunch of footage. You can analyze it all and it'll send it to the Adobe Media Encoder to analyze that footage and detect shots that have a human face um, recognizable in them. And it'll tag the metadata with that information so that that, that is then searchable later on. As an example here, now normally you would uh, send a whole bunch of footage uh, to the queue uh, for analyzing, um, but I'm just going to do one shot just so you get the general idea. I just happen to have a shot here which has a pretty recognizable face. I'm going to right hand mouse click on that and choose analyze content. Now you see we've got face detection here and we've got the ability to do it at high, medium or low. Uh, to be fair, I think even at the low, which is the fastest setting, it's still going to detect uh, the face there. Um, but we'll set it at, at its uh, slowest just uh, for fun's sake. You see I've also got the ability to do uh, the uh, speech uh, detection uh, as we've had with CS4. Um, they have however done work um, on the uh, speech detection models. The dictionaries have been um, uh, finessed and refined. Um, and also we have the ability now to actually match up to a script as well. So if you have a written script of the piece to camera, that will increase the accuracy of the speech detection significantly higher than just doing it via audio analysis alone. In this particular case, I don't really, uh, I'm not too stressed about what um, Casey is saying. Um, I just wanted to detect that it actually has a face in it. So I'm going to click on OK, and you see it's going to go and send it to my Adobe Meter Encoder. And it's actually purposely sending it to the background because it it doesn't really take a lot. Um, uh, require it being foreground. I can actually continue editing as I'm going along. Now you see it is actually um, pushing my CPU pretty hard here, but if I had a multi-core system, I could continue editing um, with Premiere whilst this was running in the background, and it'll go through and all of my shots, it'll detect them, um, whether they have uh, human faces in them or not, or not and tag them, tag the metadata. Now I've actually already uh, run uh, the face detection on most of these clips here. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and choose Find Faces. And you see there are two clips of all of those clips I had in there that actually had faces. Obviously the Casey Stoner clip, and then I've got this piece of footage here, which if I scrub through it, is all uh, car footage. And you'll see the reason why my quality is dropping down before it's snapping in is I have one of the new features, which is the playback resolution uh, feature within Premiere set to half. I'll go ahead and set that to full. So I can scrub through, and all of this is obviously not a human face, but it's gone through and it's detected that at this stage there is a human face. So when I do a search for that particular clip, it's going to come up and saying that one has a human face in it. So I know, ah, that's the shot that I need to, to, to cut in. So it's a very simple little uh, uh, feature when you think about it, but it's an incredible time saver, especially if you have a lot of footage and you need to sort that into footage that has faces, footage that is interview, footage that is B-roll, footage that is cutaway and so on. You can tag it very quickly, and that way you can get to the material you need to edit as quickly as possible. So hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, by all means, keep an eye on my website. I will have uh, a lot more of these quick tips coming up in the coming weeks. Additionally, I also have links to some Adobe Connect sessions I'll be doing, uh, where we'll go into a lot more of the features of CS5 in a lot greater detail uh, as well. Otherwise, thank you very much. Yeah.